welcome back to my channel, Kentucky Fried Fun, and welcome if you are new. Today I have my last thrift miss haul and a yard sale haul to share with y'all. Don't leave me here forever. Don't let me be alone. Just see you and me together. Don't let me lose hope. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ruth and on my channel I typically like to share cleaning and declutter motivation as well as decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And then once you've clicked that red subscribe button, be sure to also click the little bell that is right next to it so that you won't miss out on any more of my videos. This is a challenge that is being hosted by Tracy from Secondhand Tracy Ann. I'll be sure to leave a link to her channel up in the cards and down in the description box so that when you're finished watching my video, you can head on over to her channel. You'll absolutely love her as the title of this challenge is Thriftma. She loves to thrift, she loves to core, so you wouldn't want to miss on her channel. I'll also be sure to leave a link to all the other participants who are sharing their thriftmas hauls up in the cards and down in the description box. And I'm also going to leave a link to my Christmas in July playlist of the other three thriftmas hauls that I have done, as well as I've done, let's see, a Christmas in July tablescape tablescape. I did a Christmas in July like decor DIY. I did even a Christmas in July uh, mini home tour. So I'll be sure to leave a link down in the playlist so that you can check all of those out and get your Christmas on. The first item that I want to share with you all, I'll begin with my thriftmas items, is probably one of my favorites. If you watched any of my Christmas videos from last year, you know that I love my Christmas villages and I found this house right here. I think it is so pretty. I love right here. I love, love, love this. If I could find a house that looks like this in real life, I'd buy it as my like forever home. But, and <laughs> trick y'all, there was like several more of these, but I was trying to be really particular in which one I got, because I'm not gonna have much space, and if we do get a foster child by Christmas, obviously I can't put my Christmas village here on the coffee table like I did last year. <laughs> but, um, I took this actually from another one, because this didn't have a light. I took this from another one and stuck it in here. They don't know the difference, y'all. But this was $3 and half off. If I did a half off day, I might not have, I'm not sure. So either $1.50 or $3 for this Christmas house. The next thing that I found is this kind of going along with my second Thriftmas haul, the little plant that I hauled, is this little wreath. It can go for a candle or I think it'll just be pretty as is, and it is going with that wintry theme with the pine cones. Third piece that I found is actually right here on this box, and I will just pull it out for y'all. It doesn't have batteries in it, so I need to see if it will actually work, but it was only a dollar, and I think I went on half off day, so I think it was only 50 cents, and I was like, if it doesn't end up working, it's 50 cents, and, I can, the go idea is you put the batteries in the Christmas tree and then it's a little carousel and it goes around. It's so cute. So hopefully it will work. If not, I can always clip this off and either, and hang it as a normal uh, little decor. Cause I, y'all, I love my little carousels. So adorable. This piece I found at a yard sale and I was looking and it had she had a price on there I think of like a dollar or something but it's like the end of the day we usually go towards the end of the art sales y'all which there might be limited stuff but they're willing willing to wheel and deal because they want to get this stuff done and get out of that heat anyways so I ended up even though this is broken which is okay I didn't really like that part anyways I love this because y'all know me and my snowman she let me have this for free I was so excited so I'll probably end up just taking this part off and it does have a couple stars on it, so maybe I can find something to do with those. I don't know. Either way, it was free. My last Thriftmas items is a lot, actually. It is this big old Christmas cat bag, which 
not really my favorite, but what's inside of it, I absolutely love. I'm not gonna take everything out, but basically it's a whole bunch of Dollar Tree or this is, I think Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure. Whole a bunch of Christmas decor items, little packs, little kits, um, some ribbon, this little guy right here, this little guy, the little elf, and the Santa Claus. It even came with like this whole like is a snowman put together a Christmas tree and a gingerbread man and put them together and just a whole bunch more little stuff here's a little gingerbread house kit let's see there's a whole roll of white ribbon I have one of these but I feel like this is a, a nice like I feel like you can use this for like anything oh and I should have been wearing for this this for my haul y'all I'll wear it for the rest of the haul these antennas, which I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff is Dollar Tree, but my idea for this is it'll be a great to make visuals for VIP Kid. I actually, I wish I had found this sooner because the very first lessons I taught was on like snow and snowmen and things like that. Oh, I wish I would have had it, y'all. We even built a snowman together. But now that I have this, it'll be great visuals for that. And I only paid 50? cents for this entire bag y'all what i'm wearing this for the rest of the haul we love to yard sale in the summer and lately i've been having so much fun because since we are going to be doing the foster care and we will be getting a child hopefully a little baby we don't know when or whatever but i always used to highly avoid the children's section and things like that because we were trying to get pregnant for a couple years now and just I just always avoided it but now I go to it to so much fun and also since I'm doing VIP kit if I find any cute little visuals that I can use I get those too one of my favorite finds is this huge bag they were called I threw away the paper but they're called like lake shore visuals or something like that this is a huge bag of them and it's got like a waffle and they're like soft and squishy. It's got like a waffle, watermelon, a wheel. And I thought not only would these be great visuals to use for VIP Kid, it even has the shapes, a circle with the word circle on it, which will be perfect. Not only will it be good for that, but it'll also be great for a kid. I can just set it right, if you saw my office home tour, I can just set it right there in the little cubby and I can use it as visuals or they can pull out to play while I'm teaching if that were to be the case. I got this whole thing and we willed and dealed. We always like to, if we get multiple things, and we, and we got it down to this and I think we had a couple more things that we got that time and we only paid $5 for the lot of it. This is actually for our little dog Chewbacca. It's a little devil costume. I already put it on him. He's not the biggest fan of it, but that was super, super cute. It's his size and I think I paid like 50 cents for it. Here is a little like onesie, a sleeper. I thought it would be perfect. I feel like it would go, I think it said zero to, yes, zero to nine months. It's Carter's brand, which I found that is a pretty good brand. And then I love the animals right here because my kind of theme going for the nursery is zoo animals. White, no spots on it. I feel like that would be a really good piece and it'll be neutral whether we get a boy or girl. I love looking for books and I love finding ones that are unique with fun things. This one just has a little mirror and it has all these little feely touchy things, flaps, just a whole bunch of different stuff in it. So I thought that'd be fun. Here's another book. I love this. It teaches the numbers and I thought this might also be helpful with VIP Kid because I think I might teach numbers. I'm not really sure. Either way, I thought it could go for either way, for a child or for VIP kid. Now, this is not for either of those things. This is for me. Y'all know me and my notepads. It's at home. It says home sweet home. It has the little ducks on it. I thought it was super cute. I don't remember what I paid for everything, but I'm sure I'd pay, I'd pay like quarters and 50 cents for these things, y'all. I found it's a wall calendar. I'm pretty sure this is Target brand. It's, or like a, either wall calendar or a desk calendar 
and it came with a whole ton of stickers and y'all know me and my stickers i thought this was super cool i'm pretty sure it's target brand i always thought it'd be fun to have one but i don't really need it so when i found it at a yard sale brand new for i think i paid 50 cents I grabbed it. Going with my theme of like zoo animals, I found this pretty little guy or girl and it's a zebra. I just love it. It's brand new. It's exactly because I want to keep it as neutral as possible with pops of color here and there. But I absolutely love this. It's clean. Oh man, y'all. And I think, again, I don't remember, but I probably paid maybe a dollar for it. This was part when we bought the whole bag of this. This was at the same area and got them down to $5. We had a couple other things with us as well. So yeah, and you're adorable. Michael loves Star Wars. My husband, if you have not seen his chair in one of my most recent summer home tours, I'll leave linked up in the cards. You'll, you'll, you'll understand. But I saw this bag. I love using these types of bags. I think it might be Dollar Tree brand. I'm not sure. I think we might have paid like a quarter for it or something. This was at I believe the last chart sale we went to last week and it's just one of those things that you attach to like a carrier or a car in a car seat. It has the attachers right there. It has a little mirror, lion, the little zebra with the little dealios and it's in my theme of zoo animals. And then this is a not so fun baby item but it's a safety item and I was wanting these. I actually added it to our registry but I took it back off because I found them for I think I paid like a quarter or 50 cents for them. I have two doors especially the linen closet at the end of our hallway and then the laundry door downstairs that I want to put these on. Every little kid has to have a phone, right? What about one with a mirror? And yes, it says little things. I won't press them, but it even says hello and hola, which I thought was super, super cool. I got a whole set that I got this at the same place I got the phone and I got the calendar. And it's just a whole set of little books. It's the whole set of them. That's what they look like. And they all are feel books. This one, y'all. Who does that look like? If you know my channel, you know my puppy, right? But it's all got a little feely on each page. Y'all have probably even seen these. But I thought those super cute. Again, I was trying to be very specific with books and just get stuff that, you know, they can learn from or that has little things like that. They can feel, feel just cool in the whole set like this y'all because the original price is uh for the u.s is 1980 which i don't think is really that ridiculous i mean i would never pay that straight up i would not go to the store and be like oh i'm gonna get that but i think i can't remember how much i ended up paying for paying for it but definitely <laughs> way less than that probably like a dollar so i thought this was super good two more things this is a little felt puzzle. That's the idea of what it looks like as a zebra going along with my theme. Granted, any kid I get, we get probably won't be old enough to do this, but I thought it was cool because it's like a, it'd be a soft, quiet thing to hand a child. Or even if like with VIP kid, I could be like, let's build the zebra, put it together, you know, put the puzzle pieces together. So it can go both ways. And I love this zipper pouch that it was in. So I thought that was a good find. They had it for $2, but again, that and this and this was all at the same place that we paid $5 for. And I'm sure, I think I might have even found this at that one. I can't remember. But yeah, this little plaque that says a simple life is a beautiful life. And I love that phrase because I have been, I love to declutter. I'm not a minimalist, I would say, but I love to keep my home organized and simple. And it was a dollar or they had it marked for a dollar, but I think I paid like 50 cents for it. Again, probably part of a group and we wheeled and deal with them and got it down. That is all. Now I can put this all away. <laughs> I hope that y'all enjoyed watching my Thriftmas and Yard Sale haul. If you did, please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and like what you saw today, definitely be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the little bell right next to it so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. I hope y'all have a blessed day and I will see y'all later. Bye!